Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be reading the book, Badge Building. Russell loved collecting badges. There was just one tiny problem. There weren't enough, but that was about to change. Okay, Camp Master began. This is your chance to go down in the wilderness explore history. Each troop has been asked to submit new wilderness explorer badge idea and will hold a contest in two weeks. To enter, provide a description of your badge, an image of what it would look like, and proof that you have completed the work required to earn that badge. Russell's face lit up. A chance to earn a badge that he invented himself? He had to win this contest. Russell couldn't wait to get started but he also wasn't sure what kind of batch to design. What do you think, Russell asked Carl and Doug later that day. There are so many choices I could take care of a rescue animal or build a birdhouse or Doug pushed a book over to Russell with his nose. Hmm, Russell said, looking at the book. Paleontology. It means finding bones, Caro explained. Oh, bones, Doug cried, painting happily. I know where bones are. Russell looked at Carl and shrugged. Paleontology did seem interesting. Okay, Doug, he said. Paleontology it is. Russell started right away on his new wilderness explorer badge idea. First, he did his research. He learned that looking for bones was called doing a dig and that the bones were called fossils. The next day, he learned what went into preparing for a dig, what tools he would need, and how scientists determined the age of fossils they found. Finally, he was ready to stage his own dig. Okay, Doug, Russell said, lead the way. Doug led Russell and Carl to a local park. Here, he said, find the bone, find the bone, find the bone. Um, Doug, Russell started, are you sure this is, this is a playground? Doug enthusiastically wagged his tail. Bones are here. I have found bones. Russell still wasn't sure, but he decided to trust Doug. He and Carl carried their equipment over to a large oak tree and began to dig. A few minutes later, Russell spotted something in the ground. Hey, he shouted. Doug was right. There are bones here. Russell knelt down and brushed the dirt away. Ever so carefully, he pulled the bone from the ground. Doug, he said, this isn't a fossil. This is one of your bones. Doug happily spun around in circles. I am a good trucker. I have found the bones. Carl laughed. Well, we did tell him we were looking for bones. Russell sat down on the bench and put his head in his hands. Now what am I going to do, he asked. I can't dig up the whole city looking for fossils. Carl sat down next to Russell. No, probably not, he said. I don't think those old fuss budgets at Town Hall would have liked it if you kept digging holes in their city. Paleontology is a great idea for a badge, but maybe it should wait until you have time to do it right. There must be something else you could try. Russell knew Carl was right. He may have lost time, but he hadn't lost his determination to win. Now, he just needed to figure out the new badge. Russell came up with idea after idea, but nothing seemed right. Astronomy was interesting, but he didn't have time to properly track the stars. He thought about farming or agriculture but he couldn't raise livestock in the city. And besides, Doug had eaten all his seeds. 
Russell considered building a robot, but the robotics books were checked out of the library. And detective work sounded exciting, but as they might, Russell and Doug couldn't find anything to investigate. You know, Carl said, maybe none of these are working because they don't mean anything to you. Is there anything you really want to learn more about? Hmm, Russell said, pulling a chocolate bar out of his pocket and taking a bite. I'm not sure. We've never solved a mystery or built a robot. But that, Carl said, pointing at Russell's chocolate bar, is something we know you are interested in. Mr. Fredrickson, you're a genius, Russell cheered. I love chocolate more than anything in the world. The next day, Carl picked up Russell and Doug, and the three made their way to a local bakery. This is Roger, Carl said, introducing Russell, the owner of the shop, who happened to be the baker and the chocolatier. It just so happens that Roger knows everything there is to know about chocolate, and he owes me a favor. Roger shook Russell's hand. Then he handed Russell and Carl their own, very own aprons and chef's hats. You'll need these, he said. Come on, back. I hope you don't mind getting a little messy. All morning, Roger taught Russell about making chocolate. Russell learned that chocolate started out with a cocoa bean. The bean was roasted and crushed before being mixed with other things like sugar, vanilla, and milk. He even got to try mixing the ingredients together to make his own chocolate. Then came the really, really fun part. Using the chocolate they had together, Roger taught Russell, Carl, and Doug how to make all sorts of different desserts, from chocolate cupcakes to chocolate frosting, to chocolate cream pie. Even better, Russell got to taste everything they had baked. No chocolate for me, said Doug, just bones. The next day was the contest. Russell looked around at his competition. Everyone had come up with a great ideas. There was woodworking badge, a roller coaster badge, a movie making badge, and even a batch called the Night Owl. Earning that one meant staying up all night to find and identify nocturnal animals. Finally, it was Russell's turn to present his badge. I call it the Chocolate Lover's Badge, he said. In order to earn it, you'll have to learn how chocolate is made, make your own batch, and make three different chocolate desserts. It certainly does look tasty, said Camp Master. Camp Master walked around the room looking at all the en entrees and then <laughs> entries and then moved to the front of the room to announce the winner. Carl put his hand on Russell's shoulders. You did good, he said. Next to Russell, Doug was wagging his tail. Win the badge, win the badge, he said happily. Russell cut into a piece of chocolate pie and then took a bite. Mmm, is that good, he said. Thank you for helping me. Just then, there was a cheer from across the room. The roller coaster badge had won. Carl clapped Russell on the shoulder. I'm proud of you anyway, and you should be proud too. You know, it's funny, Russell said. All I wanted was to win, but now that I've lost, I don't feel so bad about it. I got to learn all about something I love with you, and that's worth way more than winning a contest. Besides, building a roller coaster sounds fun. I can't wait to earn that badge. <laughs>